Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Kindly like my videos if they help in your learning. Now I am going to solve this first problem from chapter 5. This is based on the centroids topic. So in this problem uh, it is said that place your pencil on the position of your best visual estimate of the centroid of the triangular area. And it is said that check the horizontal position of your estimate by referring to the results of sample problem 5.2. Right, so we are given this uh, triangular area and we need to estimate the centroid uh, position, right. So let's say, let's say that this is my x axis and let's say that this is my y axis, right. So now we can estimate that the centroid of this uh, triangular area can be located somewhere here, right. Since uh, from sample problem 5.2 we know that the x bar, the x coordinate of the centroid will be equal to the h by 3, right. That is one third of the height of the triangle, right. So now if we uh, look into this triangle, so then we can find the height of this triangle along the x axis, right. So if, if this is the base of this triangle, right, if this side is the base, uh, then we can find the height from this 14 to this point, right. So then we can say that this is our height. Let me show it to you, right. So this will be our height. Let's say that this is h. So we can find this h, right. So what will be h? So h will be 14 minus 2, right. So we can write that h is 14 minus 2. So, this means that the height of this triangle, if we consider this side as a base, so then the height is 12, right, units. If this is in meter, so then this will be 12 meter, right. So, whatever units uh, uh, have this grid, so h is equal to 12 units, right. So, I can write that this is 12 units. So, now we can find x bar, right. So, uh, uh, we can find, let me name this is, uh, let's say that this is h divided by 3 is this distance. We know that the centroid of a triangular area is located at distance of h divided by 3 from the base, right. So, let's say that this distance is x1, right. So, we can say that this, this is our x1, right. So, then x1 is equal to 12 divided by 3, right. So, this means that this is, uh, we can say that this is 4 units. Right. So, if this length is 4 units and we need to determine, uh, we have identified, we have estimated that this is, this point is the centroid of this triangular area. So, in this particular problem, we are required to estimate the horizontal position, right. So, we are required to find, to estimate this coordinate, right, this length, the horizontal position, right, this position. So, now what will be this position? So, we can say that this will be the whole distance from, from here to here, this distance is 14, right. So, we can write that, let's say that this distance is now x bar, right. So, then x bar will be equal to, we can say that this will be 14 minus x1, right. So, I will write that this is 14 minus x1, right. So, 14 minus so, this is 10 units. The estimated position that we have pointed out is exactly on this line, right, which is at a distance of 10 units, right. So, we can say that x bar of this triangle is at a distance of 10 units, right. So, we were required to find this x bar, right, to estimate the horizontal position of the centroid that we have estimated for this triangular area. With your pencil, make a dot on the position of your best visual estimate of the centroid of the area of the circular sector. Check your estimate by using the results of sample problem 5-3, right. So, let's, let's mark the estimated uh, centroid of this given uh, sector, right. So, let's say that the centroid is somewhere here, right. Since the majority of the area is located uh, beneath this line, right. If I draw this line, so then we can say that the centroid will be somewhere here, right. So, now from sample problem 5-3, we know that the centroid location from the center of the 
sector of a circle is located at a distance of x bar which is equal to 2 divided by 3 r sine of alpha divided by alpha. So, this is that sample problem 5.3. I have already discussed this sample uh, problem in one another video. I will give the link of that video in the description of uh, this video, right. So, as we can see that we determined the x bar of the uh, centroid of a circular sector by taking this as an x axis as a symmetry, x axis as a symmetry and then we determined that uh, the x bar distance of the centroid from this vertex right uh, from the center of the circular sector is located at a distance of 2 divided by 3 r sine of alpha right and alpha is the angle uh, angle of symmetry right so the alpha angle is the angle above the x axis and the angle below the x axis is right so now here we can say if if this is our r axis is let's say or if this is my let's say this is my positive x axis is right let's say so, then we can use this formula, right. So, then we can find x bar like this. Let us say this will be our x bar, right, from this point to this point, right. This will be our x bar. So, now to consider uh, this formula, then we have to consider alpha as this angle, right. This will be our alpha angle and this will be our alpha angle, right. This is our alpha angle and this is our alpha angle, right. So, then we can say that this angle is 90. So, this means that this is uh, pi divided by 2 and plus 30, right. So, what is 30 in radians, right. So, so as we know that 2 pi radians is equal to 360 degrees or we can say that uh, 1 degree is 2 pi divided by 360, right. So, then 30 degrees will be equal to this, this is pi by 180 into 30 right so this is pi by 6 right so then we can say that our angle is the alpha angle is pi by 2 plus pi by 6 right so i can say that alpha is pi by 2 plus pi by 6 we can say that this is 6 so this will be 3 pi plus pi so this is 4 pi by 6 or we can say that alpha is 2 pi by 3 right so now we can use this formula so then x bar will be equal to 2 divided by 3 r sine of 2 pi divided by 3 divided by alpha which is again 2 pi divided by 3 now from this diagram we know that the radius is equal to since this is the radius so the ad and the radius is 8 units right so i can say that radius is a equal to 8 units right so we can substitute this in equation so this radius is 8 let me put it 8 here right so this will be 8 sine of 2 pi by 3 divided by 2 pi by 3 so for this you people need to have your calculator in radians right so this is in degrees so this will be in radians so in uh, this is 4 right so now our calculator is in radians so now when we put everything in the calculator right the calculator is in radians so when we calculate this so then this is 2.21 units right so i will write that this is 2.21 units from the center right so we have estimated the centroid at a distance of approximately somewhere here right but it is uh, somewhere here that is 2.1 this we have marked it on 3 right but it is near to 2 right so this is 